Hey, how's it going today? We're going to talk about trailer height and freight height and also why that is important. So let's go. All right. One, you need to know the height of your trailer. And this is for when the broker says he's got something that needs a low boy or step deck because most of them only think of those two when it comes to clearance so the broker will say hey i got this load it's 10 foot and i need a low boy for it or a step deck do you got that you say no but my trailer height is at 33 so 33 plus 10 feet not quite 13 6. so Now, second, moving on to the height of the object, like I just described. If it's 10 foot and I got my trailer sitting at 33 inches, I can haul that. But if it's 11 foot and I'm sitting at 33 inches, I can't haul it. That's why you need to know these things. Now, combine the two. Obviously, if I'm under 13.6, most roads I can travel. But... You got bridges. Okay, I just ran into one today. Not actually ran into. I want to make that clear. I came across a bridge that was right at 13.6. And I didn't know it because it wasn't marked. But I was coming around the corner. And as I came around the corner, there was a bridge there highlighted yellow on the bottom rails. So... One, I knew that it was going to be an issue, or it could have been an issue, and there was no signage, so that made me a little nervous too. So I stopped, pulled over to the side of the road, let the car go by me, and then proceeded slowly, about two or three miles per hour. And it ended up being around 13.6 from what I could tell, but it cleared it, and it had less than a foot, it looked like. So that's why you got to know that. I don't care, get your tape measure out and get out there and measure each load if you need to. You know, some of these brokers don't know what the height of the load is. So you gotta know the height of your trailer and you gotta know the height of the freight you're hauling. And you gotta pay attention to those bridges. If you don't do that, could be a bad thing for you, your trailer, the freight, and people receiving the freight so pay attention and hopefully you can avoid all of those problems and that is going to be this video short and sweet but uh till then i'll see you next time be sure to click the link in the description if you're looking for a discount on fuel and you'll get ten dollars off your first fill -up.